Welcome back to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. In today's video, we're going to look at the 5E model for teaching science. The 5E model consists of engage, explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate. I will demonstrate how I use this model with my students to keep them engaged in science and learning new concepts. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel and click the like button. First, we're going to look at engage. How do I engage my students? How do I get them excited, interested, and invested in learning? I use a variety of resources to get my students invested in learning. Sometimes I use a book, a short video clip, a hands-on demonstration, or even pictures that they can look at and discuss in their groups. Once I use the engage, then I move on to the explore. This is when students get to do some type of hands-on experiment or a minds-on learning where they can develop questions and possible ways of understanding the new concept that I'm teaching. This is where kids get to inquire and use their thinking skills, critical thinking, reasoning skills, problem solving skills to uh, explore the experiment and to see what is going on in the big idea or the phenomenon. All right, so once we've gone through the explore, next we go through the process of explaining. This is a part that I actually like where students can share their understanding and where I have an opportunity to address any mis misconceptions that they may have. This is a good place where I like to give background information, share vocabulary, and also let students do research on the topic themselves. Once we finish explaining, then we elaborate. This is where real, real world uh, examples come in and where they can use uh, personal con connections also. And so this is a good part where you can bring in uh, like uh, another video or you can have students uh, brainstorm and come up with real applications of life. And, uh, and I'll demonstrate that for you when I get to the part of elaborate. And last is evaluate. Now, evaluate is where students can, you know, evaluate their own understanding. They can determine how much they've learned and how much they understand the concepts. And in this part, I like to use a prompt um, where I'll ask students, um, how can you use what you've learned? And um you know, so this will give them an opportunity to apply back to real life learning. Also, in Evaluate, you can then come up with your own evaluation, whether it's an exit ticket or a quiz or some type of cahoots game, something that you can use to determine that your students have actually learned uh, the concept or the big idea that you were teaching. Now, do I use all of the five E's in one day, in one lesson? Actually, I do not. I like to spread it out for three to four days because science takes time and I don't want to rush through it. And to do it all in one day would probably take me three hours, which would be too long for my students. So let's get started on how I actually use this and I'm going to be doing an experiment called Exploding Bags. In this particular lesson, students are learning about chemical reaction. So I show this video of bread rising and ask students, what do they think made the bread rise? And give them an opportunity to give um, some suggestions or um, you know, possibly list, talk about ingredients, and that way it get them engaged to uh, and interested in what we're going to be doing next. So now it's time to explore. Have students conduct an experiment. You can guide them through it, or you can let them um, explore on their own. And today we're going to be doing the exploding bag. 
And with this uh, experiment, students will definitely have to have on goggles for safety reasons. And, and if it's done at home, then, you know, they will have to put on some kind of shades or something uh, to protect their eyes uh, with this experiment. So for the experiment, you will need our good old baking soda, our good old vinegar, a Ziploc bag, a couple of sheets of toilet paper, one fourth cup of vinegar, and one fourth cup of warm water. I'm gonna add a little bit more vinegar. Didn't quite get it all the way up there. So first, we're going to uh, take a teaspoon and you can just use a regular um, spoon, plastic spoon. And we're going to take one of our tissues and we're going to put our baking soda in the middle. And then twist this together. Then we want to take the second sheet of toilet paper and wrap it around this one. We're going to place the wrapped baking soda in the bag. And what I like to do is to pre-seal about halfway, not all the way. And then we're going to add the warm water, then the vinegar. And we need to seal it and pop. That's the exploding bag. Woo! And did I make a mess of this today. And so then you can move on to explain. So now is the part for explaining. So in this particular experiment, um, I want students to understand that the substances, the baking soda and the vinegar are reactants. And when you put these reactants together and they mix, they cause a chemical reaction and create a new product. And so once they put the uh, baking soda and the vinegar and then the water inside the bag and sealed it, it began to form bubbles rapidly, which is carbon dioxide. And because of the bag being sealed, it put pressure on the bag, and of course it popped and exploded as you saw in the video earlier. And so that takes us into the part of elaborate. So doing el when we elaborate, um, I like to have students come up with their own um, real life examples uh, one, I would go back to the uh, video that I showed at the beginning to help them make some connections to real life application. And then I want them to come up with um, ways that uh, this particular um, chemical reaction uh, would connect to their life. For instance, you know, kids can think about rockets and uh, volcanoes, things that are under pressure and what causes that pressure um, to, to occur. And of course, they can think about baking, uh, cooking, different things that cause a, a reaction. So it's evaluation time. So in this particular experiment, I want students to design an experiment that uh, that they can conduct in class in small groups that would produce a chemical reaction so that I know that they understand what a chemical reaction is. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and remember to subscribe and click the like button. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you.